to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, my first ever Jamba Juice Review, uh, short for Jamba. It's a smoothie place, and we've got their Pumpkin Smash Smoothie. It's a plant-powered, pumpkin-flavored smoothie. Can I see that anything else is in there? No, I don't know if there is or not. So, I'll make this quick. Many of you know what this tastes like. Some of you may not, depending on who's watching, right? Because we never know what to expect. But anyways, we're going to try it. First ever pumpkin smoothie on my end. And uh, hopefully this is informal to you. So informational to you, not informal. Even though a lot of times I am informal too. All right, so let's try it. Go ahead, subscribe and like and comment on this video. Your feedback is important to me. Anyways, here we go. Ooh. Now, the man... When I was in line, he was explaining to customers, you know, certain things, you know, you have to use other fruits in the smoothie to kind of drive the sweetness to it. So like a strawberry um, smoothie, they're going to put a little bit of apple or something in there. I can definitely taste something else in here. I, I feel like it's banana. I did not read up on this enough. It is very solid, but I do understand if they did put other fruits in here other than pumpkin, that makes sense because pumpkin's not a naturally sweet, um, you know, fruit. It is a fruit, by the way. Do your research. It is a fruit. But yeah, it's not purely pumpkin. I think I do taste, you know, banana. I might taste a little bit of strawberry in there too. It's, it's a good shake. The primary flavor, obviously, is pumpkin. They don't want to put a fruit in there that's going to go boom. Ooh, you know? Banana really would be a good undertone type of flavor, which is what I think I get here. Now, a lot of you might say, pumpkin and banana just don't make sense. That don't sound good. That sounds just bad. But, you know, again, you got to get that sweetness in there. Banana's not a heavy, like, it's not a, you know, a, an odd flavor profile. It's more laid back, so it's got that sweetness that you would need from a fruit, I would say. Um, so that's what I taste here. It's like a banana and pumpkin mix. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but that's just what I taste. And it's good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I like it over a uh, pumpkin spice milkshake or pumpkin spice latte uh, for obvious reasons. I mean, this is plant powered. I feel like there's something missing, you know, rather it's the punch of coffee or the creaminess of milk. I do think something is missing. But again, we're at a smoothie place. Smoothies don't always include milk. A lot of times they don't. And that's what we have with this. So, I mean, you could probably add milk. I, I, I'm not a big smoothie guy, so I'm not educated in the smoothie department. But I think this is pretty solid. What would I say? I would say probably a 7. A 7? Is that a good rating? I think so. I think it's very decent. It's got pumpkin flavor. Does it have the biggest pumpkin punch? No. Does it have the biggest side punch? Not really. But is it enjoyable? Absolutely. Especially for a uh, end of summer, beginning of fall smoothie. Um, you know, a lot less people are going to be getting smoothies uh, as the year gets a little cooler. So it's always good to have your options, right? So yeah, 7 out of 10. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Jamba Juice, I will be back. Um, don't know when the next time you actually have a new item. I, I, I don't think it's been recent because last time you dropped something, it was a returning item as well. So good to know. I hope you enjoyed this review. The only smoothies I've ever reviewed in the past were tropical smoothies. So tell me, do you want me to go to Smoothie King? Do you want me to keep going to Jamba Juice? Where would you like me to try next? Anyways, that is my review. I'm sticking to it and I will see y'all around.